I'm Real Generic Demon, and this is What's on the Tape, uh, Season 2, Volume 6. God, I keep going through these. Um, stops at Volume 10, though. We have a little break. Um, so, what we have here is, um, this is our, our next tape. This is, came from a batch that I bought recently. Um, this was made in Switzerland, look. Made in Switzerland. I didn't realise boot tapes were made in Switzerland. In fact, I didn't you know Switzerland did anything other than, well... Chocolate and clocks and and money. I think that's that was their main thing. But anyway, so um, it says it's got Star Strike on it. That's a game I've not actually played before. Boots Nottingham actually as well. I didn't notice that. Um, yeah, uh, Star Strike. Not a game I've played before. So I'm quite looking forward to loading this one. So it's just got Star Strike on there, and then it's got another game. And I recognise the name, but I don't remember the game at all. Ad Astra. I don't know what that is. Do you? I don't know. Anyway, um, so that's that's our that's our primary tape. We may we may we may we may load them from um, some other way if they don't work from here. But we'll give that a try first, and when we have a backup. Now this one amused me because this is the this is these are the cover tapes that you used to get from Sinclair user, and they used to put tape right across. The whole thing, and then you had to punch holes in it because it's so sticky. But of course, now in 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 this day and age, it's got a little bit dry, so it kind of peels off oh look at this that's very satisfying let's 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 uh, oh oh look it's peeling the paint it's peeling the last it's peeling the cover off or the paint work off uh, oh yeah do you remember these they are horrible why did they do that right across why didn't they look in the cassette i mean even then it would have been horrible but we're going right look at this right wrapped right way around this one oh Oh, somebody out there is going, that's, I'm, he's either loving that or hating that, I can tell you now. That's one of those things. So, um, yeah, but we got a Phantom Club from um, Ocean on there, an Escape. Now, I don't don't know if that's an Escape that I should know, and I don't know if uh, Phantom Club's a game I should know either. Um, that's just annoying me now, look at this, this tape's just annoying me, look. Oh! See, now it's nice and dried out from years and years of, oh, look at that, wrapped round. Oh, it's all, ah, oh, nasty. Sticking on. But years and years of... Oh, look at that. And it's not brilliant that it's taken the thing off, but I tell you what, it's better than it would have been. Oh, satisfying. Oh, that was good. I enjoyed that. Yeah, right, okay, so that's actually a little bit better. So this is our backup tape, so we'll watch this, we'll, we'll do this one anyway, but uh, but uh, yeah, so Phantom Club and Escape, not once I've done before. Anyway, without further ado, I will stick the, the tape, our tape today, into the drive. Right, here we go. We're ready to go. So tapes in the drive. Um, what have we got? Star Strike first. I'm. God, I think I'm gonna. I'm not gonna risk it here. I'm just gonna go with the basic for a change. So uh, good old Lord did it. There we go. And let's give it a play and see what happens. I uh, say so this is a collection that came to me, um, which I found well, through uh, a friend on uh, on uh, the Retro Tech 100 group, um, Dave Bertel. Um, also a big specky lover like myself. Um, he found somebody who was selling a bunch of tapes, and this is the this is the bunch of tapes. Um, so so. Um, ooh. First one wasn't such a success. However, touch wood. This might be the one. Now is this the same? Because there was also a three D Star Strike. I mean, Star Strike is such a great name for a game, isn't it? It's just, it really is kind of Star Strike. We're kind of doing the whole thing. I mean, I just. I just wonder whether or not the, the, this was like the first one, because it's Star Strike 2, I know there is. In fact, I, I've got it in my collection, it's a game we've not actually played before, I should really get that up and running, shouldn't I? Um, if it's the 3D Star Strike I'm thinking of, 3D Star Strike was absolutely amazing. Is this the game? Oh, it could be 3D Star Strike. <sighs> oh, could this could be the one. This was like, this was like... This could be it as well. Oh, I do hope it's this one. Um, I, I, the what I'm thinking of is the, what I was thinking of was uh, was was basically a um, sort of version of Star Wars, but like better. 
it was the the runs were better and down the, the, the bits and pieces were better and you got your joystick on and I used to, used to have a flight joystick for it you know the sort of the the cheetah ones where there was sort of the 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 you know you grip it and you got a fire button on the, the handle and whatever else it's but and that 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 was the way that I used to play it and I used to sort of I used to spend ages because you could le- it just looped round after you won the first mission just looped round and round and round and round and I felt like I was a star pilot doing that I was I, that was that would I was in I was fully in Star Wars without it being Star Wars. I don't think I got Star Wars until a later date. Actually, the very first one, the one we did the the trench run and all the other stuff to do with the blowing up. Funnily enough, I was watching Rogue One last night, which is the kind of it's the Disney. Um, it's actually a war movie, and it was quite surprising for Disney that actually that that, that was that, that it is a war movie, um, and that's about the the spies. It's the, basically there's a trail that uh, there's a there's a there's a part of the. Um, the the run as you come into Star Wars, what's it called? Oh, the trail, the the thing, the the the, the text that runs across the screen, the the prelude kind of thing, the the, the little the little bit of text. Anyways, a little bit of text at the beginning of a New Hope, um, and it says that many spies die to to achieve, achieve uh, or not <coughs> to retrieve, not achieve, a, retrieve the the data on the Death Star, um, and that. That's that's the whole premise of Rogue One, the entire Rogue One movie, which, uh, in my opinion, is one of the, one of the best of the new batch. Um, you could totally disregard um, Episode One, Two, and Three. Honestly, you can you can apart from uh, some minor silly lightsaber stuff and a little bit to do with um, Jango Fett. For the most part, you can take those and burn them. Um, <laughs> just I'm not. I wouldn't call myself a Star Wars zealot, but I just don't think that they were very good. That and the fact that I'm not a big Liam Neeson fan, so so um, and that was just pre pre anything else that might have happened recently. I never particularly liked Liam, Liam Neeson, um, but uh, it just uh, it, it sort of he was Qui Gon Jinn. Then they had, had Metachlorians, um, which apparently how will you measure whether or not somebody is Force enabled? Good God, why? Why the start? The, the the first three start episodes should have been yes, the fall of the republic, yes, this, that, and the other, the the birth of of Darth Vader. But to be fair, I mean, poor Hayden Christensen, he's he's got a lot of stick for this over the years. But realistically, he did a lot of whining, didn't he? I mean, um, and I also think it was a mistake to to use a child in the first sort of you know movie. You could have died, you could have died earlier with his life you know or something or later or earlier but later in his life a sort of you know partially trained jedi that kind of stuff and and you could add some great clone wars stuff and where it came from and all that kind of thing and and you could have made him a badass not a whiner but a badass and i mean and and the the the, the relationship between him and what was she called the princess naboo she was like 10 years older than him and something similar and there was like uh, yeah, it was a bit dodgy, wasn't it? Really, and then and they they supposedly were were madly in love. I don't think so. Somehow it just didn't go. So anyway, I I, I digress. But uh, Rogue Rogue One is definitely a good one. Movie, well worth the well worth the effort. The prequels, that set of prequels, not so good. New generation, I can Force Awakens, kind of get away with it. Not so sure about the new one. Not so sure. It is the game. Oh, it's the one. It's the one. It's the. It is. It's the game. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so looking forward to this. So you got status. You got shields, lasers, status. Yeah, look at that. The equatorial duct is your final run. You know. I mean, you got a reactor. Shoot. Let's lock on and shoot the reactor thing. It's Star Wars, but like, really good. It's superb Star Wars. And then repeat final run, and that's it. Um, I've got a Kempston joystick attached. We're going for it. Oh, I'm so looking forward to this. Um, I'm going with easy because I'm because I can't remember to play it. It haven't been ye- it's been years, but I'm so looking forward. To it. It's almost like a speeder though, rather than anything else. So we've got a they've got their shots. Um, I think I think I'm just trying to remember here. Yeah, down is up and up is down, so it's like a proper fighter pilots thing. Lasers are well and truly worn out. You can shoot their shots as they come in. 
look at those vector graphics. Now this is this is this is how we used to do. This is how they used to do 3D graphics before all this polygons and whatever else it was. Basically, your best way of doing it was draw, drawing line outlines that that could be rotated in the in space. And do you know what? I miss vector graphics. I think they're really nice. You imagine a modern day game with vector. Oh, in fact, there is one. Let me let me let me let me let me. Uh, this is a, a run towards the 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 the, the duct on the thing. Now there was there was there are vector graphics. Uh, super hot. Gr fantastic game, super hot, where time only moves when you move. So it's a uh, first-person shooter, but it has vector, st well, almost vector-style graphics in it. Um, I suppose they are polygon-based ones, but but either way, that's that for me. That's kind of a, a pretty good game, actually. Oh, doing badly here with my, but not watching my, not watching my laser control here. Just running out of laser fire. Yeah, get some points here. Shoot the things as they come towards you. Oh, that's brill. Here we go, we're straight into it. I mean, seriously, we're not long at all. We're into it. We can go over the top. Um, shoot those off the edge of the wall. Bom, 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 I, I, I almost hear the. I almost hear the. Uh, almost hear the sound of. Oh, and you got to dodge those bars so you don't do yourself damage. It's brilliant. Look at it. I like this one. I like this one. I did this come on Softwave. I think it did. I think this is one that came on Softwave, which was one of which was one of the first sort of charity. Um, uh, whoa! Oh, I crashed into that one. Oh, three D Star Strike. Now we've got to shoot the reactor. I think we've got a lock on the targets. Uh, ah! We got it. Fire! That's it. We've done it. And the escape sequence, and we're getting now. We're going to hyperspace away. Look as it blows up. See, it's not a moon, and it, but it still has a circle on it, like the Death Star. It's sweet though, isn't it? It really is. Shame about the sound effects. Could do with better sound effects. And they're not Tie Fighters. Promise you, they're not Tie Fighters. They don't look anything like a Tie Fighter. No, nope, not at all. Not not a Tie Fighter. No possible way that they are a Tie Fighter. <laughs> They must have been creating a Star Wars game, but these are the days when you could get kind of get away with it. There was a game I've played not that long ago. Was it? Was it? Uh, ooh, Zoom, I think it is, with double Zs or treble Zs. Um, Zoom from Imagine. Uh, it actually has um, the Star Wars. Is it Star Wars? Is it Zoom? Oh, it might be not be Zoom. There's one of them anywhere. Literally has the theme tune to Star Wars in it. Um, and and I mean, you imagine doing that nowadays. It's just not going to happen. Shoot 15 towers for extra bonus. Oh, yeah, that's right. You get into these towers now. Oh, got to avoid this stuff. Oh, look at this. This is a game. You must play this game. Oh, I've crashed into it. I'm spinning. The, the ship's flying all over the place. I wonder what the cover looks like. I'll tell you what. I'll if I find the cover. I've got a copy somewhere. If I find the cover, what I'll do, or if I don't find the cover, I'll still find it online. I'll, bung, I'll, I'll put a picture on here of the cover because this is just... This, it, I, I don't know. I don't think it'll have a Star Wars front top of it. Um, how many? Five tops to go. Oh no! I've hit it again! Oh! Oh, brilliant! It's amazing. Look at this! I don't know if it's faster than Star Wars or not. I, I can't remember off the top of my head. Let's get the bonus bonus. Ah! There's another top over there. There it is! Got them! I got them! For extra bonus points. I got an extra 5,000 points there. I had definitely had this before Star Wars, and 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 I, I thought this was the the business. I I was I was Luke Skywalker. However, nobody really wanted to be Luke Skywalker, did they? All everybody wanted to be Han Solo because he was just cooler. Um, but um, but but you were definitely definitely a, a, a an X-wing pilot going down the going down the trench to take the Death Star out, even though this is the equatorial duct. Um, look at that! All of them coming over my head. There we go. Let's get these pa 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 pods. There's one down. And then shoot it. Yes! Reactor pods destroyed. We're away. That's a bit easy, that bit. There we go. Another, And that's a pink Death Star. Because nobody, nobody, as, as EA says, nobody would want to see a pink Darth Vader. I mean, that makes me laugh. So, 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 nobody wants a pink Darth Vader. Um, but the, and nobody wants a pink Death Star. Or a moon this time round that's like a Death Star. Oh, it's a brilliant game. And my shields are quite low. Um, oh, not quite low. Quite high, sorry. I'm doing quite well. 
It's been so long since I've played it, and, and, and it's come straight back to me. And it's best on the joystick as well, because then you feel do feel like a star pilot. If it was a modern day game, you'd get the, you'd get force feedback, wouldn't you? Rumbling as you as you shot things down. Amazing. What was that game on the PS One though? I'm really looking for. Was it Clone something or other? Where it was kind of a 3D shoot up. Um, they went with lower style graphics, and it just turned into a. Um, there wasn't. They weren't attempting to do like fully rendered stuff. They did soft palettes. Uh, oh, what was it called? I tell you what, if you know what it was, please, please let me know because that's a game I'd really like to play again on the PlayStation One. It was a, there was just a game on there. Oh, can't remember. I've got a PS One Classic actually. Um, I haven't actually, I actually haven't actually modded it yet. I feel like I should because a lot of people say that I should mod. You, you, that they're better modded because you can, you can. Well, they don't even have to mod them, do you? you just, you just have to, you just have to plug the the controller thing into it. The the um, oh, what's it called Bleem or something similar. There's just like um, I've got not a tower. There we go. Last tower. Yes, another fifty five load of points. Um, but yeah, you plug in these this bit of software that basically breaks it, hacks it, allows you to play all PlayStation One games on it without any grief or aggravation. Um, I haven't done mine yet. I, I, to be to be fair, um, it's it's early generation graphics. I'm not a you know I know this is earlier generation graphics here, but. Um, it, it, this is this is a spectrum. It's an eight-bit machine. You, you 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 know kind of expect it, and you kind of expect it in the early generation thirty-two-bit consoles like the the like the um, PlayStation One. Um, the thing about it is, it, they were learning at that point in time. They were learning how good or bad they could make graphics. Oh, I've still made it! I can't believe it. Um, ah, dead. Finally crashed into it. That was good timing, actually. Yeah, no, but early generations um, sort of um, graphics, they just weren't. They just weren't brilliant, were they? They, they were. They were all right, um, and they were just learning about polygons and all that kind of stuff. Um, and they were a bit obsessed by doing 3D stuff, and it killed off a number of things that were really good, like the Saturn was around at the same time, but the Saturn was really a 2D engine. Um, and if they'd stuck with the 2D and the beautiful rendered sort of graphics. Uh, Got to admit, I'm a massive fan of of sort of um of of two D graphics, and in fact, I prefer the styling this this vector thing than I do to other things. Anyway, right, rewinding the other side because no high space left on that. This is Ad Astra. Now I don't know what Ad Astra is. This is not a game I've played before. It's been a good tape thus far. I mean, that was a classic. That really was. That's got an cl absolute classic, right? So we're going to go with my basic and my my favourite statement. Load dip dip. I should should call my YouTube channel low dit dit, shouldn't I really? Dit dit. It was the sound it made on the Spectrum keyboard when you had a um, uh, a forty eight k specy um, of the rubber keys. When you pressed the button, it almost made like a clicking noise, and I don't know whether that was actually intentional or not. But there was like a noise, so that's why it became dit dit low dit dit. So load because it's the word, and then tick tick. You know that sort of noise. That's why it became it. Just remember that actually, because I was. Oh, remember that about the specy. It was kind of that. There was like a noise that went with it. So, okay, Ad Astra is loading. I don't know what Ad Astra is. I'm hoping that the loading screen gives me a few clues to what it might be. I've got a load to do tapes wise. There's so many to play. So many games. Ah, Gargoyle Games, Ad Astra. I don't know what this is still. Gargoyle Games, that's a lovely picture, but I'm not sure it's got... Does it, is it a shoot 'em up I don't know. It's interesting, though. I mean, I don't know if you'll see it on the render when I can only do it, but just above the word, the, just above the A-D-A-S and the part of the T, I can see a line has formed there. That's where it's put the next bit where it's like the load code or whatever else it's going on there. That'll be the bytes part of it going on. So it just appeared when when that when it went to sort of the do do that was that was where it appeared there. I never knew how they managed to do that because I used to do load screens for my my basic games. I didn't do any uh, machine code. However, I've got a few books on it. Um, but I I basically used to look like create a loading screen because you could do a there's a load. Uh, 
um, save dollar screen that's what it was um, and that would that would save the screen just as that so you can create a nice screen using plots and prints and all that kind of stuff and you get your image and whatever else it is in your text um, and I literally I would do with plots and prints and re re remap the keys to to, to, to to graphics to do stuff print it on the screen and then you do the save for it um, and that would be the way that you'd, you'd, you'd get your screen for it so you'd have your first part of your program be your sort of initializer, which would do. Okay, I thought a minute there. I thought because it, it went grey, um, and sort of the initializer for it would be would be you know the initial bit of the program would be sort of load, uh, load screen, um, do the screen, and then after the screen it would um, load the next program, and then because that would be where it printed on the screen. Now I've never understood or worked out how you could move that because it has to do it somewhere normally um that it's loading bytes for the game somewhere so look at him he's a very angry man isn't he he's a very angry gargoyle it's a shame they didn't put his mixed horn white or something like that wouldn't that be cool they probably could have got away with that looking at the way that the pixels are formed there or maybe not no you might have got a little bit of it that wasn't gonna be able to be white I'm just racking my brains now whether or not I've played this. It just rings a bell with me, and I don't know whether I've played it. I have no idea. And then we've got this. Then we've then we've got after this, we've got the very satisfying removing the tape off it after years and years and years and years of tape tape being stuck on it. Uh, the all Sinclair the, the Sinclair user um, Phantom Club from Ocean and Escape. I'm looking forward to this. Touch wood, this has been one of the most successful tapes we've had. Two games, um, one tape, not bad. The thing about these things, though, is they make me want to go out and buy the, you know, or find the originals on eBay. You know, that's really what you, I, I want to do. I want to go off and, you know, if I like it, like three Star Trek, I definitely have a copy of that somewhere. I don't know where exactly. Um, definitely have it. And I'm sure it doesn't have, um, it doesn't have. See, I've got Star Strike 2 as well. I'm just pulled it off the shelf there. Look at Star Strike 2. Is that by real time software? It is. It's by the same company. I, and and do you know what? It looks a bit like the previous. Oh, this is gonna be a this is gonna happen. This is gonna happen. This is three Star Strike 2 looks like looks like it must happen. Rick Rick. His mouth moving. Arr. Arr. Um, recommended retail price, by the way. Star Strike Two, seven pounds ninety-five. Seven pounds ninety-five, and today's money is actually akin to current current um, pricing for games. So it's about thirty pounds, probably now. It's roundabout. Right. Press a key to continue. Don't know what this game is at all. Just gonna fast forward my tape. All oh, right, we've got oh, we've got two players. Just fast forward in this tip, just to just to clean it up before we do it. Go to the stars. I'm hoping this is a shoot 'em up. Actually, I haven't had a shoot 'em up for a while on Specky. Right, okay. Four for Kempston. Uh, one player. Go to the stars. Player one up. Oh, yes, it's a shooter. Ah, do I remember this? I think you just have to avoid them to begin with. You can move all over the screen. You're quite big. I tell you what, though, have a look at that. Um, this is uh, this is look at that Star Wars cloning bits there. But look at that though. There's somebody's got a lot of effort here to avoid the color clash. Um, the ship itself, there's no color clash on it. The F1, as it's called. Um. Oh, I know why that. I know why there's a gargoyle there now, because it's a gargoyle game, isn't it? What an idiot. Ooh, I like it. This reminds me of Faster Than Light as well. Faster Than Light was a, is, a, is a cracking game on the spectrum. There's like Death Star type things going on. Yeah, they shoot at you. Let's see if we can make it make it through the first level. That would be cool, wouldn't it? Yes, come on then, you. Ha ha ha. There we go. Oh, it's good. 
It's good. Somebody's made a real effort with this one. I like it. No colour clash. One screen arcade type thing. One of the things that Spectrum's particularly good at. Those those kind of almost those emulating those those early sort of single screen single screen sort of arcade games. That's really good. That's my time as well at the bottom one minute. So, this has got, like, multiple levels of play here. I'll tell you why. Because if you had your mates around you, were going to play Ad Astra, which, by the way, is actually a superb game. Um, you would have them round, and you would have them... You, you would be like, how long can you last, as well as the score? Absolutely brilliant. I think I finished the first level. I have. Oh, they're coming really thick and fast now. So, you get, like, a little asteroid storm first... Oh, new fa new new! Oh God, didn't see him! Oh, new creatures, new creatures! I'm so excited. Yellow ones. Okay, we got asteroids going in again. Oh, got the fast asteroids again. Look, there we go. Here we go, squadron. Squadron of new things coming in. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, brilliant. I can't believe this. I can't believe how good this is. Really appeals to my sort of arcade sort of history um not that i was very good at these kind of games but i used to love going to the arcade to play them that's brilliant i like the explosion as well that's real effort as well gone into that top marks well done gargoyle games yeah So you've still got TIE Fighter in there. That happened a lot, though. That's Look at that. Longest time and, and highest score. I mean, that's awesome. That's awesome. Oh, I like that. I really like that. It's really good. That was a classic. I need a copy of that now. I definitely need a copy of that. Right, okay. Let's reset the, the, the specy now. And let's try um, um, Phantom Club and then escape. I am hope they'll load. I mean, that was satisfying, wasn't it, taking the tape off? I mean, that's, seriously, there's a few of you out there who enjoyed that a lot. I know I did. It's ridiculous, though, because it take, took took 30 years for the tape to actually be soft enough to take off really easily. Ooh, should we go with the loader? Maybe 1 to 8. I don't know. There's no date, I don't think, on any of these. Let's try the loader, because you might end up... We might end up with with loud with, with music. If it doesn't work, we can, we can, always, uh, we can always try it again. I'm looking forward to this one. Oh. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Maybe 30 years of tape on it has, has caused some problems. Oh no, it's going to be one of them! The tape is not, doesn't feel very... I'm just taking it out here, testing it. Oh, 30 years of tape on it. I've freed it finally. It's very tight. It's very tight. The tape's very tight. I need a pencil. Where's my pencil? Oh, no. What's the use of a pencil nowadays? They made them smaller. They made some pencils thinner, so we couldn't use them in tapes anymore. I'm done. I'm going to... Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to fast forward and rewind it. Just leave it. See if we can... Oh, oh, oh. Right, I'm going to check the other tape recorder out. Hang on. Let's see if it's got the metal for it. Oh, dear. Oh, it's just jammed. It's just jammed. I've I've made a boo-boo. History of ta the tape itself. It's probably got glue in it or something. Oh, baby. I can't believe it. Oh, poor baby. All these years, I feel very sorry for you. We may have to. We may have to Google these two games. They're just not shifting. It's not shifting. It. It's not shifting it. I'm. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Just hang on a second while I go find a decent sized pencil. I'm just going over the other side of the room. Back in a minute. Hang on. I'm over here. I'll be back. I'm just coming. Hang on. Oh, can't find a 
decent sized pencil. That's not going to work, is it? Come on! What's that kind of pencil? That's not a pencil! I can't believe, I can't find... Hang on. Oh, hang on. Ah, got something. We're getting that. It's not working at all. That's brilliant. That's not good. What are you doing? This is ridiculous. Right, okay, I'm going to try it again. See if I can get this to move on a bit. Seems to be moving on a bit now. Hang on. If I can fast forward this. Oh, come on. Right. <laughs> right. We're going to I'm going to I'm I'm I've got my ZX player and I've got my tape my tape my car tape and tape cassette adapter. So we're going to put that on and we're going to have a little look if I can find the game. We're going to have a quick search for it now and we're going to do that because I don't know about you, but I want to know about it now. Now that I've now that we've started this, it's funny. I've got we had one good tape there, which happened to be the old one, one from somebody else, and then we got that one. Do you know what it is? I took off the tape, didn't I? The moment I took off the tape, that was it. We were in we were in big trouble. Um, right, okay. So let's have a search for Phantom Club. That's what it's called, Phantom Phantom Club. Can't spell Phantom Club. Can't. It? I just can't spell phantom. P H T A. Uh, uh. There we go. Phantom Club 1980. Wow, how many very different versions? There are quite a few. There are two two versions of Phantom Club. One by um, Irby Software from 1987, and then one by Ocean. Let's do Oceans. Right, let's press play. There we go. Phantom Club from 1987. Noise me this tape though, I'm sit still sitting here with it, trying to turn it. That's just... Uh, this is the thing though, what do you do with these things, you know? Um, I think, I'm, I'm coming to the conclusion that if I do the, do the tapes, and I show them on, enough on the internet and whatever else it is, that's enough to preserve the history in the sense of if I can get it to load as well, that's enough to preserve its history. If it's not a game that's rare and not, doesn't appear on something else, um, that I've done my bit. You know, you've seen, you've seen the user thing. Um, you know, Sinclair user element. You've seen the, the thing. You've seen me peel the tape off it. Um, do you bin it then? I think you do. I think you do. Um, I did actually bin... Um, one of the cassettes I had the other time because it was really in bad shape. It was really awful. Um, and and the thing is, I've done the bit there. We've we've you've seen it. You've seen it at the beginning there. You've seen the you've seen you've seen what it looked like. Ooh, I like these clever loaders. Look at that. It's beautiful. Anyway, um, but yeah, I think I've done enough to preserve this one. You know, this that that's it. We're gonna we're gonna play it again. Um, might not have happened before. I do like that loader. Don't you like that loader? Called a speed lock, I think. Oh wow, that was kind of cool. That was really cool. I like it a lot. I hope it does a picture. No idea what Phantom Club is though. 1988 though, so quite far on. So we actually could have a 1 to 8k game here. What time? When did they come out? 80? Oh, it was 89, was it? No, it must have been earlier than that. It was 85. I'm sure it was 85. Oh, Phantom Club. we got some kind of superhero thing going on there. That's kind of cool. It's like it's a little bit like Iron Man with uh, um, Flash or something similar on the side there. The Flash, but with like metal outfit. Don't know. Looks cool. I love the loading time. Don't you love... I love it when they put the time on it. It's kind of good, so you know exactly how long we've got to wait. So, uh, um, go away. Get a cup of tea. It's uh, 2 minutes and 32... 30, 30 seconds to go. I've not played this game before.
I must have released it though as a general release I'm guessing this tape might have been older actually this uh, uh, mega tape thinking about that because they didn't normally re-release them on cover tapes very early on did they it took a while I wonder what the cover looked like for this I bet it was pretty sweet I mean looking at that is there a giant spider behind him? Do you know what though? Do you know this? The, looking at this picture-wise, that giant spider wasn't required to make that picture complete. You could have got rid of that giant spider. It seems to be touching his bum and making it red. Um, yeah, the robot spider could have could have gone. Or is that house? I don't know. It looks like a spider to me. It looks like it's got mandibles underneath this thing. A little blue bit below is like mandibles. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> it's maybe not mandibles. Hmm. I think I would have preferred it without the spider three thing at the bottom corner there, which possibly is a compound now looking at it. Looking without my glasses. Looking through my glasses. Looking further back. I don't know. Could be. I love these countdowns. It used to be good though, sir, because you knew exactly how long you had to wait or how long you had to read the manual for. See, right now, if this was me, I'd be flicking through my uh, Sinclair user thing because the tape went straight in, didn't it? You know, you got it on. Went straight in. While you, while they were loading, you were flicking through the magazine. That was it. You were finding out um, about the game and you were finding out what the latest news was, the best news about Spectrum stuff. The latest specy news. I mean, that's the ultimate compliment, isn't it, as well? I mean, Sir, Sir, good old Sir Clive there. He literally had magazines named after him. Sinclair, or Sinclair and Sinclair user. I mean, seriously, that's kind of cool, isn't it? Well, like that as well. It's just got rid of the screen. It's doing something else now as we think towards the, the last 21 seconds. I'm hoping for a blast of a good tune here as well. Oh. Five. Four, three, two, one, zero! Welcome to Phantom Club. It's got music! Classical music, isn't it? Very similar. Hang on! Isn't that the music to the Antique Roadshow? It is, you know. It's the Antiques Roadshow. I'm sure it is. That was cheap, Ocean. <laughs> Use the music to the Antiques Roadshow. What the? That's just hilarious. Right, okay. Kept some joystick. Here we go. Stand by. <sighs> Zelator. Oh, it's uh, no. Oh, I was I was excited for a minute then, and then I realised it's a, it's one of these. Can I shoot? Oh, I got lasers coming out my head! Look at that! I go see if I can go back this way. Pew! Pew pew pew! Lasers! Oh, I'm not a bit disappointed now. How do I jump that? Stand by, Zelator. I'll be missing a key or something to get out of this room, won't I? I'll be, I'll, there'll be more keys than this, I can imagine. There's a jump, yeah, space is jump. Zelator! It's like a really bad version of Skeletor. Alright. Jump! Into the next room. Oh no, the plants attack you! Badly. That's like a dog there. Ah! Oh. I've not played this game before. Oh, shoot myself in the, the, the Zelator. <laughs> right, I'm not. That's it. Not a game I've played before. Uh oh. I'm gonna shoot him. I'm gonna shoot him now. Look at this. We're gonna give him big licks. Look, he's shooting his buddy. 
I'm shooting him with me special eye thing and it's not happening. Thus far though, we just seem to be running straight line. We don't seem to be going anywhere fast, if that makes sense. Don't even remember this game. Do not remember this game at all. Well, now we've finally got a different direction to go. So I'm shooting him in the head. What's to do? Freeze him. Oh, it just freezes him. Is that it? Not a big fan of isometrics. I know that they were the big thing at the time, um, but I'm not a massive fan of them. Oh, he's got... He actually exploded. He actually exploded. That one died. So I guess it's a maze game because I don't seem to see anything else other to it. So it's probably just escaped the the death maze. Can't shoot that. That, a, that post just gets you. Got so many lives over the other side of the screen. Not a game I remember. Not one that I... Loading screen was amazing though, wasn't it? Or was that just me? That was, the loading screen was great. Here's another zealotor. Yeah, you'd, you'd have to get your mapping out on this one. This is one that we, this is a mapper. This one you need to map. I don't. The, not awful level design. It's just. Uh, I wouldn't have found much fun in this. It's a bit like. See, I think Head Over Heels is a beautiful game, um, and I think it's an absolute um, superstar in the in the context of. You see a big big guy there um a superstar in the sort of the 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 um in the in the isometric games but take it or leave it oh some slow down now oh get out of the way spider jump the spider plenty of rooms though Maybe he's playing the Antique Roadshow. I mean, what he's looking for is he's looking for that teapot that'll earn him a hundred grand. You know, the that's the one. I'm just looking at the score there, rating at Zelator. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. It's an Antique Roadshow of, um, of, 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 of games. Very weird. Not sure about that one at all in any way, shape or form. That, that just, just kind of a weird... Um, never played it before. Um... Very unlikely to play it again. Um, let's see now. Let's see if we can find an escape that would be around about that time. So we're looking for a game. Sinclair Research. It's not going to be that. There's one from 92. Can you think it'll be that one? I think it'll be the game from 92. Because I'm looking for I'm looking for the escape. Uh, it's not going to be that one. It's not going to be one from Spectrum Computing, AK Arrow Escape. I don't think it will be. I think it's going to be this one by A Price. So I am going to put that on now onto the, the my, my player. And what we'll do is we'll play that one. So Phantom Club, though. The Antique Roadshow of Specky Games. <laughs> right, we're going to give this one. It's 92, so it's probably going to be the loader. Um... Nice thing going off there. Yeah, it's escape. Can't see anything else that would be possible. I mean, there are some other escapes. Escape from Omicron. There's two of those. There is uh, um, escape with a with a an exclamation mark. But I suspect if it was an escape with an exclamation mark, they would have put that on the tape. There isn't actually an exclamation mark on the tape. But we'll give it a go. <coughs> A price this one. God sent this uh, ZX play. Fantastic thing. Allowing us to see what could possibly be on it. Oh you could get all these Div MMC things as well. I mean they're 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 out there but but uh, I, I, I generally think uh, loading is just a beautiful thing. Just listening to the, 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 the kitchen door opening repeatedly as dogs go in and out 
um, repeatedly. What do they do that for? You know, they'll go out the back door, they have a sniff for 30 seconds, then they say, alright, I'm going to come back in again. So they come back in again. And then 30 seconds later, they're standing at the back door again, going, I want to go out in the garden again. So you open the door, and they go out in the garden, they have a little sniff, and then they come back in again. And then they sit at the back door again. And it's just, it just, it's just a constant stream of... I mean, I know you can get a dog flap, can't you? But, but uh, or cat flap. Cat flap, dog flap, dog flap. I just think dog flaps are ridiculous, though, because, you know, if you've got, like, a Rottweiler or something like that, it's going to be as big as a human. You might as well just say, come on in, burglars, help yourself. <laughs> and you can get them electric collars, can't you, so they can tell what it is. I'm quite convinced, though, that burglars don't really mind, because it would be a really easy way in, I would have thought. Well, there's no screenshot here. That doesn't mean it's... That does not to say that it wasn't the case, and that there was one. wasn't one. I wonder how many things have been lost um, spectrum-wise, and I know a lot of it's been preserved, which is a fantastic thing, but I wonder how much of it has been lost in the context of um, cover tapes, because there will have been stuff on cover tapes that I'm quite sure wasn't preserved, or maybe I'm wrong, maybe that it was all preserved from cover tapes, I, I don't know. Certainly a couple of cover tapes I've tried recently have been pretty rotten, they've not been very good. Not been very good at all. I've got a couple of other things to try this afternoon as well. I've, I've um, promised to play R-Type um, on my PC engine, which I'm looking forward to. Cracking piece of technology. Another 8-bit piece of technology. Right, okay. Okay, I'm looking. This looks like it could be quite complex, actually. Press enter to start. Oh, it's a 3D game. Does my joystick work? No. I wonder what the keys are. Oh, this is another 3D sort of thing. This is another. This is one of these early 3D games, and we're they're blown away by games like this. He's sure. Am oh, I moving left and right? I must be left moving left and right. Oh. Oh, hang on. I'm flying. Okay. I'm flying. Not sure what I'm going to be doing here, but this is pretty impressive. 1992, this one, um, by this chap. I'm sorry if I'm I'm making a right hash of looking at it, but. Uh, you have to take some 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 kudos to this. The, 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 this, uh, take it from me that the, this, with its three-dimensional flying and all this kind of stuff, is actually quite impressive for the time. Um, this is kind of this is this this would have been cutting-edge stuff. Um, you wouldn't have seen many games that would have been. I'm just I'm doing a really crap job here of demonstrating it, but. This is one of those sort of early, those early sort of um, uh, three-dimensional games with with a with a movement around it. I think the ones that, that that sort of stood out, sort of Driller and a few others, Sentinel being another one. Um, games of which I didn't actually know what I was meant to do on Sentinel. Can you believe that? Um, I never knew how to play it at all. Uh, but this one, in all seriousness. Um, when I can work out what I'm doing, seems to be oh, it's cursor keys, isn't it? Ugh. I don't know what I'm meant to be doing there, but I, I have to admit, I know I can see I can see that this is a somebody who's made a real effort here with this. I mean, that's a, obviously a 3D building. There's a tree there. Um, if you move around it, it'll be like three dimensional. It's really quite. It's it looks like an impressive feat. Um, yeah, no, interesting. Um, I don't know whether this would have been the the appropriate escape that would have been on that mega tape. It's possible. It's very possible. Um, did you play this um, escape by um, um, a price? I'm going to assume it was an Andrew Price. It might not be. What else could he have been? 
I can't think of another name. Adrian Price, maybe. An Adrian Price. Mind you, that would have been the time for Adrian's, because we're talking like, you know, um, Adrian Mole and all that kind of stuff, so maybe. Anyway, um, did you ever play this version? Because I don't, I don't recognise it. Um, it's quite... It, obviously, it's um, quite a technical thing. He's gone with the, the um, way to, to, to keep the frame rate higher and um, reduce the processing by making the actual play area a lot smaller. So you've got the rest of it's like display and whatever else it is, but there at the top in that little smallest box, which is probably a third of the screen in total, um, is the actual moving part that you can see. But I think I think that I would have definitely been impressed by this. I did like those early sort of th the, the the early ones like this. Um, but it's the early, early, not not the early kind of next gen, thirty-two bit kind of area early, or the, even the stuff that appeared on the the. Well, to be fair, I didn't mind it on the. It had to be implemented correctly. I didn't mind it on the um, Amiga, and um, I haven't tried it on the Atari ST. However, I have got got, got myself a something a wonderfully named Ultra Satan for it. I actually ordered some more memory for my ST because um, I really want to get into that. I really want to try. It. I never had one in the day. Um, yeah, I know the Amiga's a far superior machine. However, um, I just want to have a try with the ST because I, I, I think it's been a little bit overlooked by some. So, um, well, certainly in the UK, I know that in America it was actually quite a big seller. In fact, it sold sold twice as many as the Commodore Amiga. And I did a little bit of research. It's really weird, actually. Um, sort of realizing that they actually did so much better in America than it did in the UK. So there's a much there's quite a lot of love for it as a product. Um, and there's still quite a, a, a an op a, a, quite a growing community that's a, around it as well. So a bit like the Spectrum. So anyway, um, I've been your host, Real Tonight. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye bye now.